Aaron Andrews has a strong message for Taylor Swift and Travis Kels. Aaron Andrews, an NFL reporter, has always been outspoken about her admiration for Travis Kels and Taylor Swift, both individually and in their relationship. But she recently made a bold new declaration regarding the relationship. The 45 year old told E. News, I want them to get married so bad. I love you, love. I love him. He's amazing, Andrews stated about her friend Kels, before adding about Swift. I'm overjoyed at how happy she's made Travis. Their support for one another is adorable. The sports analyst also lauded Swift's career and accomplishments, telling the tabloid, I'm fully obsessed with her, and what she's done in her life, how she makes me feel as a woman. Swift has already demonstrated her support for Andrews and her wear by Aaron Andrews clothing line, wearing a variety of outfits throughout the football season to cheer on Kels, including the red jacket she wore to the Super Bowl. In a February episode of her Calm Down podcast, Andrews praised Swift's support for small companies. Andrews said of Swift, she freaking supports small businesses and women, and I couldn't love her more for it. She freaking promotes small businesses and women, and I can't love her more for it. She was so wonderful and gracious, and I am so appreciative, I could cry. Do you want me to despise her? I'm not going to do it, the new mother said. I've always loved her, but I love her much more now. And I am simply very grateful to her. Just as Andrews is grateful to Swift, Kels has openly expressed gratitude to the reporter, crediting her with bringing the celebrity pair together in the first place. Andrews and her podcast co host, Charissa Thompson, promoted the football player on their podcast last summer, inviting Swift on a date with Kels. While it's unknown whether the podcast influenced Swift's decision, it probably didn't hurt, as Kels later told the two women, I owe you big time in March 2024, Kels and Swift appear to be going strong. Perhaps one day, Andrews and Swifty's dreams will come true, and they will walk down the aisle. Travis Kels after his trip to the Bahamas with Taylor Swift, he was spotted in his hometown of Cleveland. Travis Kels is back in the Heights, where he was seen shortly after returning from a holiday in the Bahamas with girlfriend Taylor Swift. Multiple social media users encountered Kels, 34, on Saturday, March 23, while out in Cleveland, Ohio, and shared their photos afterwards. My two elder grandgirls, who happened to be Swifties, got to meet this guy today when he randomly went into Valley View Yours Truly for lunch. They were overjoyed, an ex-user said on Saturday in a since-deleted message and photo, with the Kansas City Chiefs tight end. Said you couldn't be nicer at Kels welcome back to Klee other fans saw Kels about town shortly after a local dance competition, before the NFL star went to a local restaurant. Pizzeria Jirasi Slice Shop posted a photo of Kels on Saturday. Kels is from Cleveland, which inspired the title of his and brother Jason Kels's New Heights podcast. When NFL Grey 10 Heights legend at Kilitra visits Jirasi Slice Shop, you know it'll be a touchdown-worthy slice, Jirasi wrote in an Instagram caption. Next time bring Taylor E. Gravu. Travis has been dating Swift, 34, since summer 2023, after a missed connection at her era's tour stop in Kansas City. Travis and Swift had a two-month covert dating relationship once they began conversing. The couple then took their relationship to the next level in September 2023, when she attended her first Chiefs game in a private box with Travis's mother. The 14-time Grammy winner continued to back Travis throughout the NFL season, ending in February's Super Bowl 50. He later returned the favor by attending some of her international era's gigs in Australia and Singapore. Swift and Travis took a break from performing to get some much-needed rest and relaxation. Swift and Travis took a low-key vacation to the Bahamas, Us Weekly confirmed earlier this month. Prior to their Caribbean trip, they were nesting at her Los Angeles residence. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelce's relationship history. From Chiefs games to private dates they're focused on rest and recuperation, relaxing at home, and having low-key and chill time together, a source told us in March. They are enjoying movie nights in her home theater, catching up on films and shows they've missed. According to The Insider, Swift and Travis have loved taking a break from the buzz of their careers and spending quality time together and with friends and family. Travis, who mostly resides in Kansas City, has lately begun recording episodes of his New Heights podcast in the City of Angels. 
He and his brother Jason, who recently retired from the Philadelphia Eagles, will perform a live version of their act in Cleveland on April 11. Travis Kelce's spending on Taylor Swift, despite the fact that they have only been dating for less than six months, demonstrates that the NFL player is doing everything in his power to win her over. The Kansas City Chiefs tight end has reportedly already spent millions yes millions on real estate, travel, presents, and more for the Midnights. So, what number precisely are we looking at? According to a new report by the New York Post, the three-time Super Bowl winner has spent an estimated $8,232,229 on Taylor since beginning their relationship in July 2023. With an estimated net worth of $50 million and an annual salary of $14 million, according to Celebrity Net Worth, this level of spending accounts for more than half of his yearly income. If you're wondering how the NFL star ran up such a large bill so early in his relationship, you're not alone. According to The Post, the football star's frequent travel fees account for a significant portion of this spending. Travis and Taylor have traveled long distances from the beginning of their relationship. In some situations, it appeared that Taylor was taking a private jet from across the globe to get to his playoff games, while in others, Travis was flying from Kansas City to locations like Argentina, Australia, and Singapore to see Taylor for her International Era's tour engagements. Needless to say, these private chartered flights are not cheap. One aviation specialist told the post that these excursions may cost up to $300,000 each, bringing his total travel expenses to about $1 million. According to the site, Travis has lavished Taylor with gifts, spending more than $22,000 on the anti hero singer since they began dating. On Valentine's Day alone, he reportedly spent $16,000 on a Hermes scarf, a Bottega Veneta pocketbook, a 24-karat gold rose sculpture, Eternity Roses, matching gold diamond encrusted bracelets, and other items. Travis Kelce always comes to play not just on the field, but in his everyday romance with Taylor Swift sparing no expense, lifestyle expert Valerie Greenberg told The Post. He isn't afraid to open his heart and his wallet. Travis enjoys sharing experiences with the pop star in addition to lavish presents. He reportedly paid $1 million for the singer's Super Bowl 58 suite, which she enjoyed with her parents, friends, and Travis's family members. During an episode of his New Heights podcast, presented by his brother Jason Kels, Travis even made light of his Super Bowl expenses. I'm not really doing much different other than just counting how much money I'm spending on this damn Super Bowl for family and friends to come," he said at the time, adding, just making sure I'm on top of those finances and losing all this money. His most significant purchase to date, however, is far more lasting than floral arrangements or a Super Bowl party. In October 2023, the footballer purchased a new residence in Kansas City, Missouri. The NFL player paid approximately $6 million for the mansion, citing security and privacy concerns, after his relationship with Taylor became public. Fans of the pop star found where he previously lived thus he needed on February 12, 2024, his brother, Jason Kels, appeared as a guest on Shaq's podcast, The Big Podcast with Shaq, and appeared to corroborate this. He had to relocate out of his residence. People were just hanging out at his place, the retired Philadelphia Eagles center said of his younger brother. I mean, he had to move for safety concerns. On the first day of moving into his new house in a gated community, someone knocked on his back.